Hello guys, welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Yohas. In this channel, I will discuss tips on print on demand, especially Redbubble, according to my personal experience. If you are new here to print on demand on Redbubble, I have a PDF guide that you can download in the description for free. According to my YouTube analytics, many of you watch my videos on this channel but didn't subscribe to this channel. Please help me to click subscribe and turn on the notification bell for every new video I upload. Enjoy this video. In this video, I will review my subscriber shops. He asking me for reviewing his shop by emailing me. So I think this is interesting. But let me clear it to you guys. I'm not master at this field. Not master at design or drawing or CEO. I just do what I do to all of my shops and sharing my experience to you guys. So back to the topic. He has a neat shop and it's a kawaii and cute shop types. He said his neat shop is started one month ago and until now he said he has 28 visitors on these shops. Hmm, well I think for your first shops having visitor for a niche store is kinda cool because for getting more visitor on the niche shops for me it's a little bit hard except the niche that you are in is really popular or having many potential buyers on it and these shops it's about candy niche until now he has 65 designs on these shops well, for me, it's really great at the start because for every shop type, as long as you're doing with consistency, you will get the results till the end. And for the banner and the profile, look match together. But I suggest you to write your email and social media on your banner. That says, I do custom work, contact me, blah 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 blah, something like that. Hope you got it, what I mean. And I scroll down. Your bio is really cool and I suggest you again to write your social media link like on my top 10 tips. Check the video on the top right corner, maybe you haven't watched it yet. And look, the favorites he got. He has 11 favorites from 65 designs. And these shops it's only one month old. You can just multiple your designs that you got favorites from them. Do similar work designs the CEO of it to those designs that may be having potential selling in future. And I scrolling up again and change it from most of the fun to best selling. Well I think from these top 8 designs having potential selling in the future. Correct me if I'm wrong, from all the top 8 designs you have, I think people find your designs and tapping love to your designs. Let's check this design first. Because I'm an illustrator too, and jumping the same niche which is kawaii niche too, I really love this design. The way you pick the color, the way you choose the fonts, and the way you lay out in them is really cool. I personally would buy this design. This is on my perspective. What about you guys? And let's see the tags. Hmm, so you combine single words per tags and two until three words per tags. It's cool. My suggest for tagging is Use your big niche tags as your first tags. For example, for these designs, it's candy, kawaii, and cute. If this is my designs, I will use the first three tags on my first tags. Hope you understand what I'm talking about. And look at this. For these tags, you can separate them into one words per tags. Even Rebubble itself says on their blog like this. And in your case, 
Xmas, Candy, Kawaii, Mint, and Courage, you can separate them as one text, like Xmas, Koma, Candy, Koma, Kawaii, Koma, and this one too, Funny, Koma, Peppermint, Koma, etc, etc. Go back to his shops again. He's using collections which I suggest to on my top 10 tips for Redbubble. And he's also using featured collections, which is really really good to help buyers to find your designs that selling well or your top designs in the shops. So overall, these shops is doing really good job because it's a niche shops. For finding more visitors, it's a little bit hard than general shops that going for trend designs. Doing niche shops and evergreen designs need more hard work and patience. But in my experience, you will getting more sales soon, as long as you keep doing this with consistency. So, that's it for today's video guys. If you want your shops reviewing by me, you can email me by using this subject on email. Make sure with caps lock so that I can see it clearly. Thank you guys. I'm Yas. See you on next video. Bye.